What is going on guys, DBG here. In this video, we are going to be doing a gameplay with what I believe may be the most underrated of all of the dynamic duos in NBA 2K19 in my team. And even if you guys don't want to use these as a duo, I genuinely do think the fact that Dave Cowens right now is 6,000 MT. 6,000 MT is the biggest steal of any card ever, like in 2K. I've never seen a card this good this cheap before. And that includes when Amethyst Hedo was like 8k MT when he first came out. Dave Cowens is a god in this game and he's like 6k MT. Havlicek's decent and the duo makes Havlicek significantly better, which again is why I'm calling these guys a duo and putting them both out there. But uh, yeah, so the team we're running with is LeBron James to 1, Havlicek to 2, Wiggins to 3, Dave Cowens to 4, and Carl Anthony Towns to 5. Off the bench, we're running with Andre Karolinko, Michael Finley, Hedo Turk, Luke Kevin Garnett, and Yao Ming. And I'm going to put in Antoine Jameson instead of Michael Finley. Um, see who else. I didn't even realize I had some of these players in my squad. Uh, let's put in KD as well. So, yeah, this is a quite nice team. Got some defense players around these guys. And a quite decent bench. So, anyway, now let's go over the stats. John Havlicek, obviously, I think I've gone over his stats plenty of times in gameplays. 99 shot, 30, 99 driving dunk. That is the big one. He goes to a 99 driving dunk with this card. So he is going to jam people. 99 contact dunk as well. His dunk tendency is also 95. He just jams it on people. It's crazy some of the dunks that he can pull off with this duo. 94 ball control as well. Great speed, speed ball and acceleration. And it's just a really solid card. A little bit of a slow release, but yeah, can't really complain. He's got 99 defense as well. Dave Cowens was already a beast. Base 11, 6 foot 9 with 19 Hall of Fame badges. He's got a 99 mid-range shot. He's also got an 87 shot three with base 11, and he's a left-handed base 11 player, so it's gonna feel even better. 90 driving, 98 standing dunk. He's also got a dunk tendency of 100, as well as a standing dunk of 95. He goes up, well, he's got 86 ball control anyway, 98 block, 98 shot contest unreal. His rebounding goes to the 99 everything. His strength goes to the 98. His offensive consistency and low post defensive IQ both go up to 99. And while he doesn't become that much better, with this duo, Havlicek becomes a beast as well, and Dave Cowens, even without the duo. Even without the duo, this guy is an absolute god in game. Like, one of the top... Like, I think I had him in my top 20 cards in my team. Like, not even joking, I still think he's a top 20 card in this game. And the fact that, again, he is like 6 KMT, he is a steal. But anyway, yeah, this is the team we are running with. Now let's get on to the game. Alright, so we're playing against a good team here. Um... All Opals, as expected, Rudy Gay. Like, I'd rather see any player in this game than Rudy Gay. He's, like, the one player I don't want to come up against. But, uh, look, it is what it is. All right, let's go. Let's go have a check. Use the screen. Oh, he should have been open there. Right to the basket. Hit Carl Anthony Towns for three. Green. Great pass there by have a check. Or, if I say not by have a check, by Counts. Good pass. Fake. Easy done. Let's go. Good start. Okay, they're not going to at all. Great pass there by Dave Counts. You, he needs the Hall of Fame catch the ball badge. 19 overall pink time, can't catch it. We are there. Really, I thought we were there for that. Either way, I'm still in shock about the whole County Towns not being able to catch the ball situation. Nice spin, nice finish there by Counts. What? That's an open layup. Two possessions in a row. We miss an open layup and our player can't catch the ball. Oh my god, no, no, no. The square spam's already started. It's already started, lads. There's nothing I can do. You like you cannot call for a pick and roll anymore. Like, if you want a pick and roll, call for it in the backcourt. Because if you try to wait and call for it in the front court and you stand still for a second, it is a steal every single time. Good pass. Nice dunk there by Karolenko. Karolenko has, well. He's the ability to catch the ball unlike Carl Anthony Towns. But, no, just make sure you do not... Don't ever try to run a play that doesn't involve you passing the ball because, literally, if you stand still for a second, it is going to be stripped. The basket, nice dunk, let's go. Right back to seven. You don't stand still, do not stand still. Yeah, look for it. Yeah, just get in front of the T-Mac. Go get it. Now back down. Good move you out. Nice finish. You got like, you cannot run through guards. There's no point even running through guards or wings anymore. It's all about the post game. 
Yep, as you guys can see, Hito Turklu with ease stripping Tracy McGrady there. Coming down and hitting the moving three-point shot. Hito Turklu should not be stripping T-Mac. Bump steal. Hito Turklu on the break. Easy layup for him. Tie game. Just like that, we're back in it. Press square a couple of times, ran through the post. We, we adapted our game to a meta, which isn't ideal. Okay, back down, back down, back down. Let's go. Let's play this game the way that the game's been developed to play right now. Back people down and just everything in the post. Post and kick the shooters will be doubles. Good job, Dave Counts. Easy finish. Don't pass. How we got away with that, I don't know. To the basket, 99. Dunk. John have a check. Dunks it on Embiid. Like, I feel I've done quite well, both of them. And they've scored six points between them. Oh, don't! My players are getting sucked in. What the hell is going on? Like, I'm reading that play. I'm trying to switch my players, and they're just not doing anything. And the steal. Spam. Like, I, I, this game is just so weird to play now. Your players don't, like, the game's become unresponsive. And it's only been the past, since this last patch. Like, your players don't do most of the things. Like, you're trying to do something with one of your players, and then they're just not doing anything. Right, the basket, good, don't care if it counts. Nice job, getting separation. Good shot, yeah. Let's go. Not an easy shot. Fair enough. Forced into a difficult shot. Just happened to go in. Free ball, right back at them. There we go. Okay, we got very lucky there, but we take the lead. I'll live with that. There we go. 99 driving dunk. Straight line to the basket. John Havlicek gets it. I don't remember John Havlicek ever doing stuff like that in the 70s. Counts with step on right to the basket. Another missed dunk, really. And that goes in. Like, instead of being tied, we're down five. Oh, man. Some things I don't like in this game at all, and that's one of them. And that's another shot that should have gone in. Go by him. Right to the basket, John. Or Dave Cowens with the dunk. Let's go. A few stops, few scores. We're all good. Don't let him pull up. Do not let him pull up. We let him pull up. And we let him get the rebound as well. Oh my god. We were just... Oh, that was just a bad defensive play. To be fair, no. It wasn't. He hit me exa with exactly what I hit him with. The high pick and roll. Oh my god, he's trying to charge cheese now. He's adapting. He's learning the new meta of how OP charge cheese is. I will never... Like, as much as I say adapt or die, I will never sink to the level of charge cheesing. There we go. Green. That's gotta go in, please. We need this. Good shot, Hito. Wide open. Hito Turkaloo. Green. Let's go. Hito's bringing us back into this game by himself at this stage. Come on, set screen quicker. Don't, do not let me get stripped. Green. Good shot, Hito. Come on, set it quicker. Set it quicker. Set it quicker. What are you doing, Porzingis? You didn't even set the screen. You just rolled. And uh, we got hit by the new... The new patch steel cheese. Come on, if... It's basically made pick and roll is almost useless because of how long it takes someone to come up and set a screen. By that stage, the ball will have been taken out of your hands. Doesn't matter what drill moves you have. Set the screen. Set the screen. Set screen. Just please set it. Set it, Kevin Garnett. All I want you to do is set a screen. Why won't you set a screen? Go to contest, Porzingis. He sh that's a shove. That is a shove. That's a shove. I'm just, I'm going to show a replay of that. That is a shove. How is that not a foul? Bang. In his face. He needed that one. We need this one, definitely. Full white. Good shot, Jameson. Let's go. Let's run it. We need We need a score in this possession, otherwise it's game over. We got Hito Turkaloo. Pull up three. Green. I, we swiped through the ball. We swipe through the ball. Oh man, I there's times 
There's times where I hate 2K. There's times everyone hates 2K. This is definitely one of those times for me. Leaner. Good shot, Hito. He has a 97% chance free throw as well. Just my luck. So in the end, it was Hito Turklu to carry us. Having to check at 8, Cowan's at 8. Cowan struggled big time. Having to check struggled from 3. But uh, the usual. When I'm trying to run through one or two players, I'm minus 21. When I'm actually playing the game, I'm plus 14. That happens literally every single time I play 2K nowadays. And when you're playing against all Opals, you cannot run through one to two players. It is not going to work. You are going to lose. And as you guys can see, if I'd been just running my proper team the whole game, I probably would have won that by 20, by 20 to 30 points. But uh, yeah, Cowan's and Havlicek Fuel is incredible, but not incredible to run everything through. So anyway, that's the video. A pity we lost that game, but again, it's not... It's not actually a feasible tactic to run through one to two players in this game anymore. It's not. Every card is too good for that. Every team has got too many good players that it's a tactic where you can win a game by running through one to two guys. And with the whole, with the way, not even with the new meta, with the new patch, basically meaning it's ISO, basically killing ISO ball. And also with just the way the game's gone and everyone being an opal, if you try to run through one to two players, you are going to lose. And as it's shown by my last three games, which I've lost all three of them while trying to run through one to two players. But anyway, that's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.